Birthday present time! I'm going to show you the cool shit I got for my birthday. So, anyone who wants to get seasick, there you go. Ooh. Uh, the first one is super cool. I got this thing. It's not very hard to solve. I mean, as long as you know what a dodecahedron looks like. But I like it because, well, number one, it looks like super fucking awesome. Number two, it's a dodecahedron, which is just super fucking cool to say. Number three, it reminds me of like atomic bonds. Like you got your little core elements and then your bond, and it makes me think of chemistry, which is awesome. And number three, being a dodecahedron, it reminds me of the platonic solids. So this, this was the platonic solid for ether for anyone who's nerdy enough to care. Uh, the only thing I ever get for my birthday is cubes, Barnes and Noble cards, which is awesome. I get cubes and books. I'm okay with that, and I think everyone should be okay with those sorts of gifts. So, just me putting it out there. On to my birthday present to myself. I bought a do-it-yourself cube kit. Got actually a couple of them. So, these are all the dice, dice with which to do it. I, I don't know how many of you know this, but check my time. Four minutes. Doing good. Um, the first Rubik's Cubes, or the first Rubik's Cube, at least historically, was um, made out of magnets. Very expensive magnets in this case, and dice. So that instead of colors, you had one on the bottom or top side, six on the bottom, and two, three, four, five around the around the edges. So I got the dice. I got my neodymium magnets. These fuckers are expensive as shit. I think I got about 200 magnets in here. And the for both kits, it cost me. I think it was almost 80 bucks. Which isn't bad. In, in fact, if you try and buy the, the neodymium magnets independently, um, it costs about like 10 bucks more a kit, which is just awful. So actually I actually have a ton of extra dice that I'm not going to use. And I might try and make, if I have some ex uh, extra magnets, I'll try and make a 2x2. Two two, but um, So I'm going to make a magnetic 2x2, two two, or magnetic 3x3, three three, I mean. Um, using these dice, and then I'm going to use the second set, even though I'm going to have tons of ex extra dice, I'm going to machine some little aluminum cubies, since, since aluminum's not ferrous, and make a magnetic aluminum cube, and then if that works, granted that works, I'm a pretty badass machinist, so I, I think that one will be pretty easy. But then the, the next step will be trying to make a cube out of aluminum, um, no CNC, no computer, no computer machines. <sighs> Machine an entire cube by hand that's all mechanical, like, you know, when you buy a cube from Rubik's and you pop the pieces out and they got the weird nubs on there and the, and the center that's uh, spring look has, you know, the special tension springs and all that shit. I'm actually going to try and make one of those entirely out of aluminum. I'm pretty excited about this thing. It'll be really fun. I mean, it just looks really cool. Like, I got these clear dice. I think I'm going to offsite. I'm either going to do the clears and the, and the greens, or the greens and the blacks. I'm not sure right now. But, and I'll probably drill holes for all of them. And the other thing I'm going to try and do, because every time you see the, this, uh, this setup with the neodymium magnets, what they try and do is, or not try, they drill holes and then they put glue in the holes and set the set the magnets in the holes and the glue drives around it. I think I'm trying, gonna try and machine it perfectly to size so the uh, magnets are press fit and so you won't even like see all that nasty glueness and it'll just be these cool clear cubes or clear green cubes, you know, like, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? These are transparent, I swear to God. I mean, you can tell these are. Um, 
obviously. But the green ones are transparent too. The, the glass are the only non-transparent ones. My cigarette went out. I've been talking way too much. I don't know if it's going to outdo them. I don't know if anyone likes this besides me, but dodecahedron, that's so fucking cool. And then this one is just, God, I love everything about it. It, it just gives me a map boner. Oh my God, it still confuses me. But okay. The shape fucks you up. It really does. I'm sure other people that are smarter than me got this stuff right away. I, on the other hand, took like a half an hour to figure this thing out, because, and then I still get those parity cases that I gotta fix, you know, and, and I don't have one of those uh, cube solving uh, programs that you, you can put stuff in and go, how do I swap these? How do I swap those? How do I swap those? And the, like, the only parity algorithm I actually know for a three by three is for the void, but the void swaps a bunch of your centers, so you end up equally fucked at the end, basically. And so it's it's a rough little ride. I've been working real hard on it. Can't figure out a good algorithm. You can use the void algorithm. And what it does is, is it's almost like your four by four or your five by five, where you have those really simple algorithms you can do that fix the parity, but then you have to resolve the cube basically. Not, not the whole cube, but you have to do a lot of extra steps in order to do it. And this is kind of in that same boat. You can, uh, you know, you, you leave your white on the side, you use your void cube for all your, your, your colored sides, your void cube algorithm to fix that, and, but then you end up with a mess, you know, and you gotta basically resolve the entire cube. And considering this one is not one you can flip easy, you know, like I was talking about earlier, it's, it's not one that goes real well. It's much better to figure out a good algorithm for it, even though I don't know if one exists right now, but I'll find it, so. Anyway, uh, the next video hopefully I'll be posting will be of uh, magnetic cubes, super neo neodymium magnet cube things, because I mean, I don't know if any of you have ever played with, I probably shouldn't have this shit that close to my laptop, but these fuckers are, I mean, they're awesome. They are so powerful. You know, this this thing is so tiny. And right now, I can, oh, I guess I, check it out. I have strong enough fingernails, I can get it apart. This is a rod of neodymium magnets, if you look at it. If I just apply direct pressure, I mean, it's, <laughs> you know, that, that shit is tough. You know, it gets a little easier if you, if you bend it apart. But if you're just, like, just with my fingers, I guess I can't do it. Barely. Oh, I have an idea. That I can do that straight through my hand? I mean, that's fucking incredible to me. And what you gotta remember, like, the gravity breaks off uh, at the square of the distance, you know? All the Newtonian laws and stuff. Oh my god, it's picking up every little fucking metal piece I've ever left in my house. Gravity breaks off at, at the square of the distance. Uh, magnetism breaks off at the, um, the, the fourth of the distance, the, I guess you could call it a quadruple of the distance. And so they're really strong, but you know, all magnets are really strong, but not for very far. These ones are strong enough that even, you know, at one over x to the fourth, at the reciprocal of the fourth distance, you can maybe anyway. oh, come on, dude. It can go straight through my hand. That's fucking incredible. You know, oh, I got the the repulsive side here. <laughs> that shit's impossible. Holy shit, that distance is just ridiculous. Okay. So I got this over on the side, I got this one on the side. That... 
there are no other metallic objects around, I probably should even make it farther. That's enough to knock it over. That is fucking incredible. That That's like six inches. There's your thing. <laughs> it's like I have fucking powers. I can't even manipulate it. Like, it automatically just flips 180 so that it's oriented the right way. I was hoping I could push it around. <laughs> okay, I can push it around. I just have <laughs> no way out of that one. You have to do it, and I can feel it right there. <laughs> That's awesome. I guess you can never lose them, because all you have to do is swing this motherfucker around, and, and then it picks up anything they... Tape measure. Lighter. Oh, that one's easy. It won't even come off of there. The reason there are not that many videos on this is because I'm probably fucking the shit out of my computer right now. Remember, 1 over x to the 4th. Recipro reciprocal of the 4th power of the distance. Or 1 over r to the 4th if you're going to go with where r is your radius. go. There we go. And that's badass. I got like fucking 200 of these motherfuckers. So. Anyway. It's my video for the day. Now time to go edit and whatnot. Play with my see-through cubes. Um, by the way, this is a very cool site. It's just, I think it's magnetcube.com. And he, you know, for 30 bucks, he'll send you an entire kit to make a uh, dice cube. And it's pretty badass. So. And you can get these cool see-through dice, but only in the kit. You can't buy them individually, unfortunately. I wanted to make a whole cube out of these motherfuckers. And, and you can get one, but he only builds the see-through ones. You, you can't get them, so you can build them. But either way, um, I will hit you guys up let you know how my aluminum cube build went, how, how my dice cube build went, and uh, hopefully somebody builds a cube because of this. Later YouTube, you have a good night. I should look at the camera when I say that. You have a good night.